awesome God. Come on, let's worship Him. How great Thou art, mighty God. You are God, and mighty are Your miracles. We stand in awe, my God, of Your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship You. Come on and sing it again. Awesome God, we love you, Jesus. How great thou art. You are God, and mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow, Lord, we bow and worship you. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord, all creation, all creation, call you God. Worthy is your name, worthy, worthy is your name. We worship your majesty. Come on and sing it with me. Awesome God, my God, how great Thou art. You are God, and mighty are Your miracles. We stand in awe of Your holy name. Lord, bless Your people on this morning as we share the word of encouragement that the battle is not yours, the battle belongs to the Lord. Minister to your people. Encourage that person that's at the end of their rope. There's so much coming against them lately. They just feel worn out and feel like giving up. I pray you bring strength through the word of God. Bring a breakthrough. Bring a turnaround. Shift their atmosphere. Bring a Break the spirit of discouragement off their backs in the name of Jesus. Remove the frustration and the confusion. Bring clarity of direction, clarity of mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say a good amen right there. Good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters. On this morning, I'm talking about the battle is the Lord's. Now, anytime the Lord give me this message to share, it means that a lot of his people, many of you, are going through struggles, trials, tribulations, and you are facing battles. And you know what I've learned about when me and my wife are having to deal with the attacks of the enemy and fight the enemy off with the word and take our stand against principalities and powers? Sometimes you can almost feel like this battle is all yours. You can be so wrapped up and tied up in the, in the fight for the victory that sometimes you feel as though this thing is all yours, but it's not all yours. This battle belongs to the Lord. King Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 found himself in similar in a similar situation where there were surrounding nations coming to eliminate him. They wanted to annihilate the people of God, Israel. And Jehoshaphat set himself to seek God through fasting and prayer. And he encouraged and called the whole nation to a fast. And in the midst of their fasting and praying and crying out to God, the spirit of God, Move upon a prophet in the midst of the congregation and listen to what this prophet said in verse 15. And he said, this man is speaking under the anointing. And he said, how can you, all Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you also, King Jehoshaphat, for thus said the Lord unto you, be not afraid, not dismayed, by reason of this great multitude. The word dismayed means to be discouraged. Be not afraid, not discouraged by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours, but God's. This battle belongs to the Lord. Listen to what he said. He said, tomorrow go down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz and you shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerul. Now God is exposing to Jehoshaphat exactly where the enemy is planning his attack from. But God's telling him, go against him. Now listen to what he said in verse 17. 
You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Now they were coming against Jehoshaphat, and now that God shows up, he said, no, they ain't coming against you now. You about to go against them because your God is mighty in the midst of you and I'll fight your enemies. God made a promise in Deuteronomy. Your enemies that come against you one way will flee seven different ways. Glory to God. Now watch this. So God's telling him, don't be afraid of the enemy. Go face the enemy. God is with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. The Bible says in verse 20, and they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, and so shall you prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, my God, he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. What a strange strategy. This had to be inspired by the Holy Ghost. They said, we're not going to put the armed soldiers in the front. We're going to put these singers in the front to just sing and praise and worship God. These fellows are going to war and the praise team is in the front. What a strange way to go to war. Man, this didn't make any sense. You see, God doesn't always make sense. Are you hearing me? He doesn't ask you to make sense. He asks you to have faith and to trust him and to believe him. God never asks you to have it all figured out because you are not going to have it all figured out because faith is the substance of of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, I'm not talking about somebody jumping out and doing something stupid and claiming it's God. You know it ain't God because it never comes to pass. If it is God, God's going to back the thing up. Are you listening to me? I'm talking about someone who's inspired to take a step of faith, even though they don't understand. You, know, you just know by the confirmation of the word of God and by the Holy Spirit that's leading you that this is God. I just got to trust him and take the step of faith. And the Bible says in verse 22, and when, glory to God, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir, which were come against Je Judah and Jehoshaphat, and they were smitten. When God people begin to praise and worship and magnify him, God himself begin to attack their adversaries and their enemies. God begin to attack them and they were smitten for the Bible says in verse 23 for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir utterly to slay and to destroy them and when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir everyone helped to destroy one another so all three of these nations turned on each other and they annihilated one nation and then they turned and killed them they all killed themselves you see that's God that's God fighting for you the Bible says in verse 24, and when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked at the multitude and behold, there were dead bodies fallen to the earth and none escaped. God annihilated their adversary. He wiped them out. He defeated them with an astonishing blow because brought, God brought confusion in the midst of them. My God, don't you just love that kind of, of God who fights for his people? And the Bible says when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them. They found among them in abundance, both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry. And they were three days in gathering the spoil because it was so much. So the enemy had brought all of this spoil when they surrounded Judah, all the loot and the booty and all that stuff that they had stole from the other nations. They brought it when they surrounded Jerusalem. And God annihilated them. And guess what happened? What the devil meant for evil turned out to be one of the biggest blessings for the people of God. They were three days gathering the spoil. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. One breakthrough and the wealth of the wicked could be transferred into your hands. Are you listening to me, my friends? This battle, 
I said, this battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. My God, awesome God. Awesome God. Sing it. How great thou art. I cover you this morning, my friend, in the blood of Jesus. I bind every devil, every demon, every foul and unclean spirit that's been attacking you and your family, your finances, your health, your relationships, your job, your business, your ministry, your marriage. I rebuke the work of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I cover you in the blood. The Bible says when the enemy comes against you like a flood, the spirit of the living God will raise up a standard against him. Never forget this, my friend. This battle belongs to the Lord. The Bible says in Luke 10, 19, Jesus said, I've given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you. This battle belongs to the Lord. You coming out of this more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus who loved you and gave himself for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? God is on your side. Friend, all we ask you to do is continue to support the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know we are not ashamed of Jesus. We are preaching Christ. We are preaching his word. We are encouraging the saints. We can't do this alone. We ask you to support the work of God. Visit us online right now. So see. Give a donation to the ministry. Send in an offering. You can visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing in your donations. Remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries P.O. Box 11 7442 Carrollton, Texas 75011 7442. Remember, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you, we care about you. We are believing God for your breakthrough, for your miracle, and for your turnaround. Make sure. Never forget that. Just remember, never forget we love you, but more and most importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. And he is the one who died for you. And remember, this battle belongs to the Lord. We love you. Looking forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning. God bless you. Take care now. Bye-bye. Pastor Sean Pender is coming to Freeport, Bahamas. He invites you to the Freeport Miracle Crusade to be impacted by the Word of God, uplifted with anointed worship, refreshed by the presence of the Holy Spirit, and to experience the miraculous filling power of God. Join Pastor Sean for these powerful miracle services at the Bahamas Union Teachers Hall, Friday, March 8 at 7 p.m. and Saturday, March 9 at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. For more information, call 242-646-9494. Your life will never be the same.